Well, welcome to Fresh Living. October, as we know, is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And throughout the day, we have experts standing by, actually until about 5.30 tonight, to take your calls and answer questions. That's right. We have experts on the phones right now. We're joined by Dr. Vanessa Hart. She's a surgeon from Inner Mountains Park City Hospital. Now, Vanessa, right now we want to go to talk about ways to decrease the chances of false results. What are false results? False results are where the picture picks up something and the radiologist may think it's a cancer, um, maybe need extra um, views of the area, maybe even a biopsy. In the end, it's not a cancer, it's benign. Um, non-cancerous tissue. Okay, so there there are some new things happening, which probably is pretty exciting when it comes to detection. So tell us about tomosynthesis. So it's tomosynthesis is a 3D mammogram. Oh, so that's a, cool. Very cool. So it's taking at various levels um, the views. So a mammogram has a single plane, and we can do it in two views. Okay. The 3D mammography is like a CAT scan, so it's giving us what's happening inside, and especially for dense breasts, that um, may pick up something um, that the mammogram may not. And the great thing is with this kind of information, it lessens the chances of false results because when you have some of those results and you go down that road, I mean, there's a whole mind game that goes along with it and there's yes. a lot that goes into it. So if you can lessen that, that, that I mean, that's great. No, absolutely. Because that fear of the unknown, oh, am I the one that mm -hmm. has cancer? And, you know, statistically, 80, presently 80% 80 of everything we're biopsying or doing is benign. Oh, which, We're uh, looking for the other I mean, 20%. That, that's good, but that's a lot of like that's worry. Unnecessary exactly. worry. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the money that, you know, you could talk about money saved, the time that the patient doesn't have to come back and forth um, for extra views or a biopsy. If we can decrease the false negatives, yeah, absolutely. I always feel a little bit strange when we're talking about breast cancer awareness, being a guy. Mm -hmm. But I really think that the guys need to get involved in the conversation with their wives, with their moms, with their daughters, because they're really breast cancer affects all of us. Yes, and just so you know, male breast cancer is 1% of all breast cancers. So men are not immune either. So right, so every once in a while you'll see a see case something. like that. So right now mammography is kind of the standard of care. Yes. Is this tomosynthesis, is this going to be something that's going to work in connection with mammography or do you think it ultimately will replace it? I think it will ultimately replace it. But you know, mammograms still are our workhorse. Mm -hmm. You know, it has, there was a study showing that it's decreasing um, death from breast cancer by 30 percent because we're catching things before you feel them. Well, yeah, Casey and I so, talked about this before. You know, when we were kids, like if someone said they had cancer, it was like they're going to die. So, and now that is just not the case. No. I mean, especially with a cancer like breast cancer, you find that early and chances are really good you're getting rid of it. Correct. Right. But Dr. Hart, we really want to just tell everybody to go out there and get checked. And at what age should you start to check? 40. 40. 40 without a family history. All right. And you'll read other things, but I mean, in my Good opinion, rule of thumb. start at 40. Okay, very And good. start yourself breast exams and see your doctor because mammography is just one part of it. You need to know your own body and you need yeah, to have so a physician. Yeah, so something's changed. Right. Yeah, you need kind of a baseline. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you so much. And we You're also, welcome. if you want to go to KUTV.com, use the hashtag KUTV, ask the expert then we can answer your questions that way as well. Thank you very much. Thanks.